Yo, what's up everyone? We're back. This one's the crafting system this time. And um, as before with the quests, I'm going to split it into two bits. Because doing the server side and client side takes too long in one video. So um, to start off, I'm going to actually do a little bit different. I'm going to go with the... Uh, so like where we've done the quests and items here. We're going to do something similar, but for the craftables. And um, yeah, we'll have a look at these items here. And we'll just create a matrix for these. So, um, to start off, what we'll need is pretty much a matrix like this, with the same function at the bottom, but for craftables. So, if we, uh, jump here, we go, um, I'll just call it crafting for the moment. Let's just call it module. Return module. So, we're just doing a normal module script, so we'll do module.crafting. And we'll have an array. So remember that scenario. And for now, let's just copy this. And to be honest, all we really need to do is just change a few things. So we'll keep the ID. So that will be um, the craftable item. And then we'll have materials. We'll put like... Uh, let's actually do... Um, Let's make a fruit salad. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Let's put three pairs. Oh, actually, no. Let's put two pairs. Two apple. Apples. Apple pears. Yeah, we'll just do that. So, what we'll have here is our craftable item that we're doing. And we'll have the materials for that craftable item. And we'll just work off this. So, uh, let's make a function. Get craftable from id craftable id string uh for index uh craft matrix in ipairs module dot crafting so it's ipairs because it's a array here this outside one's an array but this inner one's a dictionary Oh, wait, sorry about this. Um, you don't actually need to put these. Let's just lower you. Ignore that. Let me get rid of that. <laughs> I don't want any of you to do that right now. <laughs> but uh, what we need to do is just check if the craft matrix to ID is equal to the craftable ID. And if it is, we return uh, that and the index. Um... <laughs> And uh, if we don't find anything, just return nil nil. And we need another function, which is function module can craft can craft craft double holy craft double id. Uh, actually, I'm gonna pass the inventory inventory and the craftable id. So actually, we want that second. So here we'll do local craftable config. So here what we want to do is get the config for that item we're trying to craft. And only if we can find that config, do we want to check the invent inventory table if we've got enough materials. So here what we'll do is local craftable config equals module get craftable from ID, craftable ID. If not um, craftable config, return false. So that means it cannot be crafted. It's non-existent. And uh, what we need to do next is check the materials. So for material name, material ID in iPairs. So the inventory table. Wait, no. Uh, that's a dictionary, sorry. So pairs. We'll do cutable config dot materials. And then here we want to do um, actually, I think we might have to go to, we should probably add something here for it. Function module get item. Oh, what I put this one can craft craftable, um, get item in inventory. We want to pass in a inventory table with the item ID. Uh, let me just check how items are stored. I'm assuming it's... Okay, so it's... 
a dictionary. Oh, we don't even need that then. So, um, here we... So, how the inventory table works is you have the item name like that, and then the quantity. So, all we need to do is check if that index exists. If it does exist, we just check the number. See if that number is larger than this one. Then if any of them are not meeting the requirements, we return false. So this whole function returns false. So uh, to get this over with, let's do if not... Oh, actually no, let's do if inventory table material name and inventory material name. Material ID. Nope, that's supposed to be material number on material count. Uh, so, yeah, so if inventory table material name, so if the item is there and the item is larger or equal to the required amount, then now we need to inverse this. So if not the item is there or the inventory table, so or, I'll just make sure that's in parentheses. So if the item is non-existent or we do not have enough of the material, we want to return false here. So the reason why we actually want to inverse it here is that um, instead of returning true if one material is right, because we need to check all materials, the easier way to do it is have return true on the outside here. And then we just check if any of these are either non-existent inside the inventory or if there's not enough. And if one of them does not have enough, it just ends the loop and returns. So like if there's like 50 materials and you don't have enough of one of them, it will stop the loop at that one if it hasn't completed the rest of the inventory. Or, any, uh, or the rest of the materials yet. So it's like an efficiency thing. Um, so here... That uh, is done. So this just checks whether or not they can actually craft it. This one just gets the item from in here. And now we can do the back end for this. So let me just double check what this looks like. Okay, yep. So I, I work with a framework, so I need to just double check that. So here we've got a crafting service. Local module equals that. Local module is that. Oh, return module is that. So what we need to do is... Um, we need to get the data service. So we can actually get the player data. So let's require that. Uh, we do not need collectibles. We do not need quests. So we leave them out. And we can do function module try craft item local player uh, item ID or crafting ID. So we'll have remote trigger that there. So uh, let's create a new remote event here. We'll name it uh, try craft or craft item. So let's do that. Um, local. Actually, how do I do it in these ones? Let me just copy the whole top here. Which are our modules? We want crafting data equals require replicate modules dot crafting. Replicate a remote. Uh, we want craft remote event equals craft remote. I'll just call it craft remote. It'll be easier. Yep, there we go. And then we can do on server event connect function local player craft or oh, crafting item wait no crafting id that's what i want and uh here let me just double check if i've shown you how to do type checks yes i have okay so we're going to do the similar type check thing here so let's just copy that if the crafting id is a string and play profile, then we want to um, pass that. Ah, I'll just keep it here. It'd be easier. 
Actually, did I separate them? Yeah, no, I didn't. Energy requires a player, yep. Yeah. So this one's probably on a remote basis, so there's not much when you add in the module. Um, on server event, local player crafting ID, do the player profile. If that crafting ID is a string and player profile, then now we need to actually check if that crafting item exists. So what we can do is local crafting matrix equals crafting data. Get craftable from ID, crafting ID. If not crafting matrix, then return. So don't continue on. And then if crafting data can craft craftable, the player profile dot data dot inventory. So get all the inventory items, the craftable ID, then. So if they have the materials required, we can subtract it directly from the inventory. So we'll do for material name required count in pairs uh, it's a dictionary crafting matrix dot materials do player profile dot data dot inventory the material name minus equals required account so that's going to subtract the required amount you don't want to set it to zero because if they've got extra it will set it to zero and they'll lose the extra that they had so make sure you minus equals and that's it. We can just do table. Oh, not table insert. Pay profile dot data dot inventory. The crafting ID. E. Wait, no, yeah, we need to do. Uh, if that item exists, then else. Now let's just jump back here. Let's do um. So we've got the materials. We've got the ID, but we need like an output amount. For that item so let's do quantity for fruit salad it will be one so if it exists plus equals crafting matrix dot quantity otherwise set it to the quantity that you crafted and there we go now uh that would that's pretty much it for that that's quite literally it so i might uh, cut the video in, like in a minute and we'll do the UI in a separate video which will take actually a quite a bit longer than this one I don't want to have to have a like 40 minute video for this but yeah now let's just uh, join the game just make sure there's no errors oh once a game loads waiting for it Waiting... question mark? Okay, let's have a look at the script real quick. Um... Oh, don't mind my avatar. That's Megaman from Kono Subarashi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, is that gonna work? Uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, so this one's an issue here. Oh no, I already fixed it there, no man. Um, print to string active data. I don't know why that's not actually showing anything. Might be a silent error. Um, I might actually have to pause the video to it. Huh. I think that's my internet that's doing this. I don't know why it's so slow. Holy. What the fuck was that? There we go. Holy. Well, there we go. Um, items are, you know, working now. 
And if we get the quests, we can see the quests on the side. Grab them. So let's just do a debug real quick. And we're going to require that uh, quest. Actually, no, we won't need to do that. We can just do it in the next video of the UI. But yeah, that's just all of crafting. Pretty simple so far. Just the UI is going to is going to be way more complicated so hopefully you're ready for that it's going to be great fun and yeah i'll see you in a minute or next day or whatever it is for you see ya